Okay, now the third diagram. The object is at C, that is for a concave mirror. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to draw the center line. This is going to be our principal axis. All right, mirror that we are going to draw. Okay, keep the protractor at the principal axis with 90 degrees line and on both the sides equally draw this concave mirror okay now what we are going to do is we are not going to directly here first get f first directly okay at the distance of six centimeters we are going to draw over here straight away the center of curvature okay now the object is at the center of curvature okay so suppose if this is the object which I have kept it at the center of curvature it is also found that the image is also at the center of curvature so directly first I am going to draw this image then I am just going to crisscross these rays and I am going to draw them okay the first ray from the top of the object okay this is the ray that is parallel to the principal axis this ray I am going to straight away meet through the bottom most point of the image okay this is going to give us the position of the focus as well I'll tell you why we are doing like this okay then I'm going to choose the second ray okay so from this point I'm just going to draw this ray that is passing through the focus and then after reflection it is coming out to be parallel to the principal axis okay so both of these are going to meet over here all right so this is the position of the object that is marked as a b and same is the position of the image that is marked as a dash b dash so b and b dash are this one in the same point so the first ray is this is the ray that is the gray colored ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection this is passing through the focus okay then the yellow ray first passing through the focus and then it is parallel to the principal axis so this is the position where both of these rays are meeting now we are going to discuss the characteristics of the image the first thing is nature you can see here the nature is real and inverted then second thing is position okay here the position you can see the position of the image is also at C itself and the size you can see the size of the object and the size of the image in this case one line is one and the same okay so when you are writing size you will write size is same as that of the object